Hey, this is Matt with 88. We're uh, going to be tracking down a radiant leak in this area of this house here. As you can see, the floors are buckling. And we have already found the leak, but I just want to go over on how to find this leak. So we're going to head over to our compressor. It's already pumped up. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert air into the radiant system. But since I already turned everything off, I can't do it because what I'll do now is air will go in here, pressurize it up, and then leak out over on the other side. Hey, this is Matt. I'm going to be going over a couple tools that you're going to be needing while you're depressurizing and finding a leak in your radiant system. So one of the most important tools you're going to be using today is going to be your handy dandy air compressor and uh, as soon as we isolate out the circuit that is in question um, then we're going to be hooking up and taking the water out of each circuit by circuit. The second tool you're going to be needing is uh, a pressure gauge and a means to hook up your air compressor up to the system and I usually use a low cost gas Cox with a Schrader valve and always a pressure gauge up on top because you want to know uh, how much pressure you're losing or if that circuit is holding tight. Um, another thing is you never want to go past probably about 100 pounds even though we test out at 100 pounds. Um, you don't want to go past 100 pounds because then you're just pushing on too many things and might be causing more problems than what you're trying to fix. Another type of hookup I like to use is a peach port and a Schrader valve. And what a peach port is is you can then insert your pressure gauge into the top of the peats. This is just a MI or a pipe thread to a hose. Then what you would then use is a washing machine hose kit. On your manifold over here, you have ports in and ports out right here. It doesn't matter where you hook up to. So basically what you're going to be doing is hooking up your hose here, pushing air in, going across, going over to the circuit that you need, pushing the air through, and then it will be pushing the water back up until the air gets to this return manifold, and it goes up and out up into a secondary hose then into a bucket where you're going to be capturing all the water okay after you get all the water out then what you want to be doing is putting pressure onto each circuit looking for your leak so what we have done already is we found out that the leak in question is either in one five or one four and why do you have two per each because you have a supply and a return so we already pressurized that 1.5 to about 60 pounds and it's holding. In 1.4 uh, we pressurized it up and it started to leak out and uh, we found it. So um, in a few seconds I'll go over um, the flooring and um, how to track down your leak. Okay so we're trying to track down a radiant leak here and we kind of had to rip up this beautiful floor of Debs. And as we got underneath it, it looks like they just glued it or tacked it right down to the jib creep. But what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at a rusty nail and a really wet floor. So we're going to pressurize it and figure out if this is it. 